at Google Quantum AI. And today, on behalf of our amazing team, I'm proud to announce Willow. Willow is Google's newest and most powerful superconducting quantum computing chip. Deep inside Google's quantum lab, something unexpected has occurred, and it's challenging the reign of the James Webb Space Telescope. The rumors suggest a new AI, so precise and powerful, that it may have outsmarted the James Webb Telescope with Google's chip. This isn't science fiction. It's the start of a tech rivalry that could redefine how we explore the universe. Is James Webb's dominance at risk, or is this just the internet causing a stir. Of course, this isn't the first time a machine's been called a game changer, but when it comes to space exploration, there's already a giant telescope out there doing the real work. Let's talk about James Webb. Titans of Discovery when the James Webb Space Telescope was launched into space in December 2021, it wasn't just another science project heading into orbit. This was the result of decades of planning, designing, and problem solving. People called it the most ambitious space telescope that was ever made, and for good reason. Unlike Hubble, which had been our window to the universe for more than 30 years, Webb was built to look even deeper into a time when the first galaxies were lighting up the darkness. But getting it there wasn't the hard part. The real magic happened after liftoff. The thing is, Webb was too big to fit into a rocket fully assembled, so it had to fold up like a high-tech origami. Engineers designed its sunshield to spread out in five thin layers, each one working together to keep the telescope cool enough to detect the faintest whispers of light from across the universe. The unfolding process wasn't automatic or easy. It was a carefully planned series of steps that took days to complete. One mistake, and it could have been the most expensive failure in NASA's history. But Webb pulled it off, transforming from a folded up package into a giant floating observatory, ready to peer deeper into space than anything before it. Now, Webb is not a one-trick pony. It carries a collection of scientific instruments that work together like an advanced team. One of the key players is the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR spec, a powerful spectrograph that can look at the light coming from hundreds of galaxies at once and break it down into its individual fingerprints. Then there's the mid-infrared instrument, Myra, which lets Webb peer through cosmic dust and see structures that are invisible to other telescopes. Together, they allow scientists to look into star-forming regions, study distant galaxies, and even examine the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system. There's also NIRCAM, James Webb Space Telescope's primary camera, which not only captures crisp images from 0.625 micrometers, but also serves as the wavefront sensor that keeps the mirror segments aligned with nanometer precision. With these tools, Webb has already delivered milestone images. Its first deep field showed thousands of galaxies, some shining as they did just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. You must be wondering what the Big Bang is, yeah? You see, Big Bang is the leading scientific explanation for how the universe began. It is the event that occurred about 13.8 billion years ago, when all the energy, matter, space, and even time itself expanded from an extremely hot and dense state. At that moment, the universe wasn't an explosion in space. It was more like the entire universe was compressed into a tiny, unimaginably dense point. And then suddenly, space stretched outward, carrying matter and energy with it. This expansion continues even today. Now, right after the Big Bang, the universe was a searing hot soup of particles. Over time, as it cooled, particles formed atoms, which then came together to form stars, galaxies, and everything we see now. The James Webb Space Telescope looks so far back in distance that it's essentially looking back in time, capturing light from galaxies that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This is why scientists say Webb allows us to see the early universe. However, with all this data pouring in, it's impossible for humans to process it all manually. The information is huge, complex and full of details that the human eye can easily miss. And this is exactly where artificial intelligence comes in. Scientists have developed machine learning models like Morpheus to analyze Webb's images. Morpheus doesn't just classify stars and galaxies, it picks out hidden structures, disk shapes and patterns that would take astronomers months to notice on their own. In one case, Morpheus helped discover that some galaxies, which Hubble had labeled as simple blobs, were actually disk-shaped 
spirals, changing how scientists understand galaxy formation in the early universe. Webb's mission goes far beyond taking pretty pictures. It's designed to answer some of the biggest questions out there. When did the first galaxies form? How do stars and planets come together? What are distant exoplanets made of, and could they possibly host life? Already, Webb has given us clues by detecting water ice on distant objects in our solar system and capturing detailed images of exoplanets using specialized techniques that block out the blinding light of their parent stars. But with technology moving as fast as it is, some are beginning to wonder, could another kind of machine, one built not to see but to think, change the game? Google's Quantum AI in December 2024, Google quietly dropped a bombshell in the tech world. They called it Willow, a sleek 105-qubit quantum processor that did something wild. It solved a complex random circuit sampling task in under five minutes. It might not sound earth-shattering at first, but this very same task Willow achieved would take a classical supercomputer around 10 septillion years to figure out. That's a one with 25 zeros. In other words, it's far beyond the age of the universe universe itself. For context, Google's last major quantum processor, Sycamore, made headlines back in 2019. That chip had 53 qubits, and at the time, it managed to perform a similar test in about 200 seconds. Sycamore was Google's first big swing at quantum supremacy, but it also faced a wall of criticism. Many experts argued that the task itself was more of a lab test than a practical achievement. It was a proof of concept, not a problem solver. Willow, on the other hand wasn't just faster. It tackled the core problem that's been holding quantum computing back. The problem is, in traditional quantum systems, adding more qubits often led to more errors. You'd think more qubits would mean more power, but it always came at the cost of reliability, and Willow changed that conversation. For the first time, engineers managed to increase the number of qubits while actually reducing error rates. More qubits now meant fewer errors. This is what set it apart from Sycamore, and why this moment was seen as a turning point in quantum research. With Willow, Google proved that quantum systems could grow larger, become more powerful, and yet maintain or even improve their accuracy. It was the first real hint that practical quantum computing might actually scale up in our lifetimes. Michael Newman from Google summed it up perfectly. The hope is that as you make these collections larger and larger, there's more and more error correction, so your qubits become more and more accurate. Normally, that's not how quantum machines were supposed to behave until Willow came into the picture. However, it's important to be clear. While Willow's performance in the lab was impressive, it hasn't solved any real-world problems yet. The task it completed was still a benchmark designed to highlight quantum speed. It doesn't directly apply to everyday tasks like discovery, cryptography, or energy simulations. Willow's power, for now, remains confined to tests built to expose its strengths. Even at that, it's a leap far beyond what Sycamore could offer. Willow not only doubled the qubit count, but also extended how long those qubits could hold onto information. This improvement is what makes Willow a big deal in research circles. James Webb was built to look farther, right? But what we didn't expect was that the real mystery might be in the numbers, not the pictures. And now, those numbers are acting strange. Unsolved Mysteries in the Data In 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope continued its deep dive into the universe's past, and once again, it found something no one was ready for. Scientists spotted a tiny, distant galaxy named Moem Z14, whose light started its journey toward us when the universe was barely 280 million years old. Moem Z14 isn't a grand, sprawling galaxy. It's about 240 light-years across, yet it's packed with newborn stars. To top it off, its chemical fingerprint showed elements like carbon and nitrogen, suggesting that complex star-making processes were already in full swing that early in cosmic history. But this discovery wasn't a one-off. Webb kept pulling more and more of these bright, ancient galaxies out of the cosmic dark, it was like turning on a light in a room we assumed was empty, only to find it filled with objects we never expected to see. Before JWST, theories suggested these early galaxies would be rare and faint, barely even detectable. Now, they seem to be everywhere, shining boldly when the universe was still in its cosmic infancy, and it didn't stop at galaxies. 
Webb's sharp infrared vision started revealing scenes of destruction hidden behind thick curtains of dust. For the first time, astronomers caught clear evidence of stars being shredded by supermassive black holes. These weren't the usual active black holes with bright jets and glowing gas rings. These were quiet, lurking giants, sitting in dusty corners of distant galaxies, waiting for an unlucky star to wander too close. And this is where things took a stranger turn. Amid the galaxies and black holes, Webb's instruments began picking up signals that didn't fit into any neat category. Deep field images from JWST revealed odd energy spikes, strange light distortions, and patterns that don't line up with what our current physics would predict. Some of these could be explained by dust interference or lensing effects, but others? Well, they're still on the mystery shelf. Are we seeing the fingerprints of dark matter structures? Or perhaps distortions caused by exotic phenomena we haven't even theorized yet? The thing about a challenge with this kind of data is that every new discovery seems to answer one question while raising five more. Is MOM Z14 a rare gem? Or are there countless galaxies like it out there, hiding in plain sight? Are these star-shredding black holes exceptions? Or have we been missing a major chapter in the story of galaxy evolution? And those strange signals? Are they glitches in the instruments? Or are they subtle hints at something much bigger? Webb has opened a window to the universe's earliest days, but it's also introduced a thick layer of fog. We can see shapes and movements, but the full picture remains hazy. What's clear is that the more we look, the more we realize how much we don't understand. Now, back to Willow. So far, it has been a powerful lab experiment, but behind the scenes, Google's next move hinted at something far bigger, a breakthrough that might shift how we think about space discovery itself. The Big Breakthrough In 2025, Google's quantum team decided to raise the stakes. After years of fine-tuning their Willow processor, they introduced something new into the mix. The Willow processor, already a significant leap with its 105 qubits, was now working hand-in-hand -hand with an AI model they called Alpha Qubit. Together, this duo wasn't built to break speed records. Their goal was to handle errors, spot hidden patterns, and start answering questions classical computers couldn't even phrase properly. Well, you know, Willow had already solved one of quantum computing's oldest headaches. The more qubits you added, the worse things got. Or at least, that's how it used to be. But Willow flipped the script. By scaling up its qubit arrays, it actually became more stable. Suddenly, Google had a quantum machine that didn't fall apart when you tried to grow it. But speed isn't everything. Quantum computing isn't just about doing the same tasks faster, it's about doing things differently. A quantum processor thinks in layers, juggling multiple possibilities at once. It doesn't look for one answer. Instead, it explores a whole landscape of answers all at the same time. This is why Alpha Qubit was built. It could look at patterns buried deep in datasets, the kind of patterns that would take a classical supercomputer lifetimes to notice. Now, here is where things get a bit fascinating. In 2025, researchers fed unprocessed data from the James Webb Space Telescope into the Quantum AI stack. They wanted to see if these machines could pick up anything we had been missing, and the results were unexpected. What Willow and Alpha Qubit saw in that data caught everyone off guard. The system flagged strange distortions in the light, subtle warps, and energy signatures that didn't fit our current models of gravity or dark matter. These weren't random glitches. They appeared consistently, no matter how the data was sliced. What was even more intriguing were the patterns that showed up and symmetries that seemed to repeat. It was almost like a mirror reflecting parts of the universe back on itself. Some whispers around the labs suggested that what Alpha Qubit found might align with theoretical ideas about parallel universes, higher spatial dimensions, even mirrored cosmic structures that repeat in ways our physics can't fully explain. Google's lead on the project, Hartmut Nevin, had previously noted that Willow's behavior lent credence to the multiverse interpretation of quantum mechanics, first envisioned by physicists like David Deutsch. But then, was this a software error? Could Willow and Alpha Qubit be misreading the data? After all, quantum systems are sensitive and feeding them noisy space data was always going to be a challenge. Still, 
The anomalies persisted. They showed up in multiple runs, across different datasets and in patterns that were too consistent to brush aside. Theories started floating around. Could these signals be the first trace of higher dimensions? As usual, not everyone agreed. Some experts expressed concerns that this could be an overestimation, noting that quantum systems can produce unusual outcomes that may not accurately represent real-world scenarios. But no one could explain why these patterns kept showing up, even when the data was processed in new ways. Whether this breakthrough leads to a rewrite of physics or not, we've crossed into a new frontier where machines don't just process data but find questions we don't even know to ask. With all these breakthroughs and questions, do you think James Webb has reached the limit of what it can show us, or is something else about to take its place? You see, it's quite easy to jump to conclusions when a new technology steps onto the stage. Google's quantum eye has been making waves, and some are already whispering that the James Webb Space Telescope might be stepping into retirement. But that's not quite how this story goes. Webb isn't out of date. In fact, it's more valuable now than ever. The telescope is still the one collecting those precious beams of ancient light, sending us the raw materials from the farthest corners of the universe. Without Webb's precision and reach, there wouldn't be any data for quantum AI to analyze in the first place. It's not a competition. It's more like a collaboration. What's changing is how we look at that data. Quantum AI brings an extra layer of eyes that is sharper, faster, and able to spot patterns the human brain would never catch. It can sift through mountains of cosmic noise and pull out signals that would have taken researchers decades to unravel. If by chance Webb and AI work together, they will form a kind of cosmic detective team. One gathers the clues, the other connects them in ways we've never seen before. But this new partnership does actually stir up some interesting questions. If AI can find things in JWST's data that astronomers missed, what does that mean for future space missions? Will the focus shift from building bigger and more powerful telescopes to building smarter algorithms that make sense of the data faster? Could discoveries that once needed lifetimes now come to light in a matter of months? Now, the main point of these speculations is starting to buzz in science circles. Is Google's quantum AI becoming the real eye on the universe? Or is it simply a magnifying glass, making the treasures that Webb finds even clearer? There's no doubt that Webb still defines what we can see, but quantum AI is beginning to define how far we can understand it. The shift in attention is subtle. It's less about replacing Webb and more about sharing the spotlight. But who commands that spotlight? Are we giving more credit to the engineers who built struggling hardware in space or the AA coders crafting algorithms in a lab. When a new discovery is made, whose name will history remember first? You know, Webb's images of ancient galaxies, hidden black holes, and cosmic events no one thought we'd ever witness are all groundbreaking. But now, with quantum AI diving into the fine details, we're realizing that there's so much more waiting in those files. The most forward-looking idea is this. If quantum AI keeps showing us hidden layers in Webb's data, the priority shifts from building bigger telescopes to building smarter analysis engines paired with existing instruments. Space agencies may start tuning new missions with AI pipelines in mind first. We are not saying Webb's mission is over. Far from it. The telescope continues collecting new data, extending its reach deeper into time and space. What changes now is perspective. This means there will be a shift not from telescope to algorithm, but from camera lens to collaborator. If AI keeps outpacing human analysis, are we still the explorers of space, or are we just watching from the sidelines while quantum machines take over? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more content like this, tap on the next video on your screen.